If we take four styrofoam spheres, measure the combined mass, then assemble them with glue, we find that the mass is now greater because of the added mass of the glue. But if we take two protons and two neutrons, measure the combined mass, then fuse them together to form a helium nucleus, the final mass is smaller. It's as if the nuclear glue that holds the protons and the neutrons together has negative mass. Is that possible? Well, potential energy between interacting particles is zero when they are very far apart and therefore not interacting. By consequence, the potential energy of a bound system is negative, which makes sense since we have to give energy to the system to unbind it and restore it to the zero energy configuration. Now, according to Einstein, E equals mc squared, energy has mass. So, the negative binding energy of the helium nucleus, or of any nucleus for that matter, is equivalent to negative mass. It decreases the mass of the nucleus. As counterintuitive as it may seem at first, nuclear glue does have negative mass.